Hey everyone! Welcome back to Janko TV where we bring you all the best content. If you're a fan of Korean dramas, then you're in for a treat. In this video, we're going to be showing you the best Korean dramas on Netflix right now, part 2. So, get ready to add some new shows to your watch list, and let's dive in. Number 11. Idiwan Class, 2020. The first drama on this list based on a webcomic, although don't worry, there will be more, Idiwan Class is a drama based in the hipster, super popular area of Seoul called Idiwan, think Soho or the East Village in Manhattan. Park Seo Joon plays Park Saeroe, the owner of an up-and-coming restaurant in Idiwan called Danbam. When he was in high school, Saeroe got expelled for punching a privileged kid named Jang Gunwon, whose father owns a powerful company called Jenga Group. This kickstarts a series of events that lead to Saeroe's father's death, followed by a seven-year plan for revenge. Idiwon Class is an extremely popular drama both in South Korea and internationally, and it accurately depicts the diverse experiences of young adults right now. It is also the first mainstream K-drama to feature a transgender character, played by Lee Ju Young, signifying a major shift in attitudes for the historically conservative country. Number 12. Law School, 2021 Present. A newer Netflix series, Law School focuses on a group of students and professors at Hancock University Law School. When a law professor is found dead and former prosecutor and professor Yang Jong Hoon is arrested for the crime, the other characters work together to uncover the truth of what really happened and prove Professor Yang's innocence. You can certainly draw similarities between law school and how to get away with murder, as the Korean drama focuses on law students putting their schooling to the test to help out their professors. At the same time, there are plenty of smaller storylines happening as well, like a mysterious connection between a top-tier student named Han Joon-hee and the professor who is killed. Law school is a great option if you want a serious drama with a central mystery. Number 13. The Uncanny Counter, 2020-2021 If you want a superhero-style story, look no further. The Uncanny Counter is the story of So Mun, a kind, intelligent boy who has a walking disability as a result of a tragic car accident he was in as a child, which killed both of his parents. One day, So Mun is possessed by a spirit that grants him the power to banish demons that escape the afterlife. He joins a team called the Counters, which includes Emotak, Hana, and Mayoke, who fight together against a rising threat of evil in the area. It gets even more complicated for So Mun when he finds out that his parents' deaths weren't accidents after all, and an evil spirit was involved. Another series based on a webcomic, The Uncanny Counter is a stylish, action-packed thrill ride that doesn't pull any punches. With a dark, threatening villain that keeps the team on edge, the show maintains a quick pace, while the fantastic acting by the cast adds a deeply emotional side to the story. Despite being advertised as an action fantasy show, you should still be ready to shed some tears when you watch. Number 14. Startup, 2016-2018. Startup is set in a fictional Korean version of Silicon Valley, where Bae Suzy's character Seo Daomi dreams of being the Korean Steve Jobs. Following her passion, Daomi gets involved with a startup business and quickly becomes entangled in a complicated love triangle. One young man named Han Ji Pyong is her first love, now a successful venture capitalist, while Nam Do San is a young man down on his luck, who Daomi thinks is her first love. This gives Doosan the motivation to give his startup another try, while also attempting to make Daomi's mistake a reality. Like Idiwan Class, Startup presents a new style of life for young people. While taking on the modern industry of startups, the show also gives everyone the classic romance they know they want. Number 15. Memories of the Alhambra, 2018-2019. A true amalgam of genres, Memories of the Alhambra takes place mainly in Granada, Spain with a Korean cast. A science fiction drama of sorts, the series follows the CEO of an investment company, Eugene Wu, who travels to Spain in search of the creator of an AR game in development that feels way too real. 
When the game and reality start to blur and someone is killed, Jin Wu, with the help of the developer's sister, Yung Hee Ju, must find the bug in the game and fix it before more people die. Memories of the Alhambra is a breath of fresh air for dramas due to its setting and innovative premise. While at times the story lacks sense, the concept and execution are spot on, and honestly, you can't help but fall in love with Hyun Bin. Number 16. Sweet Home, 2020 Present. Based on the webtoon of the same name, Sweet Home is an energetic, thrilling apocalyptic horror story about monsters trying to kill everyone and take over the world. No big deal, right? Song Kang makes a rare appearance in a horror show, as the actor usually sticks to romantic dramas, which you will see later on in this list. Kang plays a character named Cha Hyun Su, a traumatized high school student who moves into an apartment by himself after his parents are killed in a car accident. Unbeknownst to Hyun Su and the other residents, their apartment building happens to be ground zero for a species of monsters hoping for world domination. Sweet Home is a great example of the crazy stories that come out of web comics, which somehow work so well when adapted to the screen. The series is dark, bloody, and unpredictable, and a definite win for Netflix. Number 17. Run On, 2020 to 2021. Run On is an effortless romance that focuses on the relationship between Oh Mi Ju, a hardworking movie translator who takes pride in her work, and Ki Sian Jiam, a former sprinter for the national team who wants to become a sports agent. The drama is light-hearted, with not too much action, but it works well with the story. There's also a major plotline revolving around gender inequality in the workplace, as another character is disregarded despite being the natural heir of her father's company and becoming the CEO of a sports agency all on her own. With the main two characters, Run On also provides a close look at some unique and interesting professions that aren't normally portrayed on screen. While it might not be as exciting and heart-pounding as some others on this list, Run On is a must-see for the acting and the soft chemistry between the two lead characters. Number 18. Navillera, 2021 Present. If you want to watch something that will pull at your heartstrings, Navillera is the show. Released in 2021 and one of the newest Netflix original Korean dramas, Navillera stars Park In-hwan as Shin Deok chol a retired mailman who just turned 70. Feeling unfulfilled, Deok chol decides to try and fulfill his dream of becoming a ballet dancer. But aside from his late start, another obstacle he faces is his worsening Alzheimer's disease. One day, he comes upon a young man named Lee Chirok, Song Kang, practicing ballet for an upcoming competition. While Chai Rock is a talented dancer who loves what he does, he is in a bad financial situation and his father is in jail. His mother, who passed away, was a ballerina, and it's one of the few remaining connections he has with her. When Chai Rock and Diok Chol meet, they become friends and learn from one another, encouraging the other to continue pursuing whatever makes them happy. The Villera is another example of the shifting perspectives in the Korean entertainment industry, with the series exploring tough topics of death, old age, Alzheimer's, and the challenges people can face regarding gender, class, and age when trying to achieve their dreams. Number 19. The King, Eternal Monarch, 2020. The King, Eternal Monarch is written by Kim eun suk the writer of Guardian, The Lonely and Great God, also known as Goblin. This 2016 series is probably one of the most beloved Korean dramas in South Korea and the one many people use to introduce their friends to this world. The newer series, The King, Eternal Monarch, shares a star with Guardian and Kim go Eun, who plays the character Jong Tae-yul, a police officer in the Violent Crime Squad. In this fantasy drama, there are two alternate realities, one, the Korea we know today where tae lives, and the Kingdom of Korea, where lee Gon rules as emperor. When lee Gon discovers that he can pass over to the parallel universe, he meets tae and you can probably guess what happens next. While the king, Eternal Monarch isn't as good as Guardian, the series is a unique, ambitious story with fantastic acting from the main cast, and a great choice for fantasy fans. Number 20. Rookie historian Gu Hae Ryung, 2019. 
a historical romantic comedy that still manages to explore very serious topics, rookie historian Gu hae centers around the title character Gu hae a noblewoman who becomes one of the first four women historians of the Joseon dynasty. Still single at 26, hae already challenges the intense gender roles of the era, and she continues to encourage the independence of ideas and choices for women everywhere. She soon meets Ram, aka Prince Dallin, the heir to the throne whose true passion lies in writing romance novels under a pseudonym. Through the romance between the two main characters and their story, the show further explores and challenges historical topics of Catholic persecution, censorship, and sexism. Overall, rookie historian Gu Hei Ryang is a hilarious and truly romantic series that manages to feel modern despite the older setting. And that's a wrap for this video on the best Korean dramas on Netflix right now part 2. We hope you found some new shows to watch and enjoy. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notifications so you never miss a video from us. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.